Hey guys, Family Leak here today, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Now, first of all, if I sound a little bit different, or if I make a <clears throat> sound during this video, I apologize, but my throat is a little bit sore, and I'm I'm a little bit ill. Uh, not too much, though. <laughs> so, anyways, so, yeah, you may have noticed I, I ended up changing this intersection. I went, this is actually the roundabout intersection I used in my previous city, but what I've done, I've actually sunken down the terrain so that the highway remains at the same height and the roundabout is actually down below which i thought was a kind of interesting idea it was a nicer way of doing it too uh so the uh the roundabout's down the bottom uh and then uh and then what i've done is i've done the road to the industrial area that actually just goes straight over the top like that which i thought looked pretty good now i'm not entirely happy with this road that goes down underneath like that and they have to like cut across to get over there now, well, I guess, first of all, the reason this road here exists is because people would exit off the roundabout, go around it, come up to this intersection, uh, go left, go left again to go that way. Which was really, really inefficient if they were just trying to go to the industrial area, especially because it just made unnecessary traffic at this intersection here. And it, basically what I ended up doing was backing up the roundabout, having traffic go all the way around back to there before the traffic would move. And they're all just trying to go that way. So I put in that ramp there. And it's the same reason for me doing this bit here, because otherwise they would come down and go around. I mean, sure, I could have done like a ramp going there. It, it looked really ugly. And also, it means they would have to turn right. They would have to cut across the traffic. Whereas going this way, they just move straight into the left lane and they don't have to cut across any traffic at all. And it works pretty well. I mean, if, if this becomes a problem later on with traffic cutting across, I mean, not many people seem to actually use it that one, uh, that, that lane there. So it seems to be okay right now. If it becomes a problem, we'll change it up. Now, I also did custom traffic light timings on this because what I noticed is, yeah, you can see right here, first of all, we're getting a lot of traffic building up uh, from this roundabout already. So I've actually made it, so they have, I believe, 30 seconds, well, I mean, 30 seconds at default speed, but when it's faster, obviously a little bit less. But I, I don't know if it's actually second. Let me pause, because we've got a lot of demand. Um, let me, I'll show you. So I did it in Traffic Plus Plus. I did time traffic lights, clicked on this one. So we have three states. Uh, state one is like 30, I don't know, let's just say 30 units of generic time uh, for them to go straight ahead and turn left. Uh, so they can go, and also these guys on this side can go straight ahead. So if they're trying to go to the highway, they can go straight ahead because that doesn't interfere. Uh, then I did state two, which I actually can't remember what it is. Let's actually skip to it. Here we go. So then state two, these guys can continue turning left. And then these guys from this direction can turn left and right. That only goes for 15 because there's not as many people from there. And then state three uh, is that these guys can still turn left. And then this traffic here can go forward and turn right. So essentially... I'm actually going to skip to that one because that's where we're up to. Essentially, it uh, allows the amount of traffic that needs to flow through to flow through. Although this this side there is building up a little bit. If that get, if that if that uh, backup gets any oh, too much longer, we'll have to revise that. But you may also notice that I have six hundred eighty thousand dollars. That is purely due to the fact that I've just been fast forwarding time and sitting here because I've been optimizing that interchange. Basically, I haven't done anything else. I don't think. I think that's literally all I did. Uh, <laughs> and the, the whole time, like that, that's all I did. Uh, I don't, th I don't think I did anything in the industrial area. Not that I'm aware of, but this could definitely use a bit of work. But what I want to do, so because now we have loads of money, we need to set up a train line. We need to get a train line over here because we have a lot of stuff over here. Uh, actually speaking of which, now that we've got some actual residential demand, let's, uh, let's actually fill some of this in. Uh, let me just paint it in, it'll be easier. Because I kept complaining that we didn't have residential demand before, but now we do! So there's that. I mean, they can live next to the school, I guess. Why not? Yeah. There you go, guys. Um, I don't know if this is too densely packed for a town, but... There you go. Just live in there. Uh, and I guess over here as well. There you go. Do we have all the services out here? So we have medical. We have... Yeah, we have a crematorium. We have fire department. Not exactly great. Uh, police, and we have the schools as well. We have, yeah, and we don't have a university yet, but we'll, we'll do that later. Uh, we don't have any public transport. Of course not. So, we're going to get the train line to come out here. Now, I think what we're going to do, we're going to, oh, see, now this is, actually, we could we could get the train line through here. If we actually raise this road up, because I, I, I didn't even consider that, because this is where I want the train line to come through. <laughs> I didn't even consider that I've just built a roundabout there, too. I mean, <clears throat> over here we can get the train line underneath this road, we just got to move it forward a little bit. So what we do with that, I don't think I had any special options on this, and I hope I didn't, because I've just forgotten what they were. So we'll go a little bit further, and then it can go down to there. No, there's nothing there, okay. Yeah, so that will give us room for a train line to come through. Now, let's go train stations, let's get those in first. So we're going to go... 
Now, these aren't going to be massive train stations, of course, because just a regular train line. Uh, there, there's a subway station right there. That's actually convenient. So I'm actually going to destroy all of that, put a train station there. Uh, there's actually no way to cross over to that subway station. We might do a, a pedestrian path or something. So we're going to have a station there, and then we're going to go... We definitely need another one over this side. See, ideally along here, along that main road, but we've got all these buildings in the way. We might have to... Uh, mm. And we need the train line to go there. See, putting it putting it there is too, is too close. It needs to go here on that main road. I think we need to get out of this view. Make some room. Make way, boys. Coming through. Uh, all your houses are now gone. We'll probably have to revise that. Uh, so I'm going to put it right there on that intersection. And let's put it in the train line and then we'll... Oh, no, no, I was already in the train. I, I don't like how the train track is at the end of the menu now. Because I've got all these custom things. Okay. So then what we'll do is we'll, we'll put probably houses back there. But we've got to figure out where the train line is first. So it's going to come out to there. Go around nice and, nice and gentle. Uh, running around the back. And then we're going to get... Um, something like that, I guess. Wait, where is the train station? There it is. Yeah, something like that, I guess. Uh, I mean, that kind of looks dodgy. Like how it's like straight and then curves. I don't like that. Let's make that a, a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's much better. Good. Okay, so this is going to go all the way to there and then to there. All right, so that is now connecting those two stations together. Beautiful. We also need to start thinking about a cargo train line, which I think will also try and fit in this episode because uh, we we ran into a problem with that last time at the end of the last city uh, where we just didn't have the cargo train capacity for anything and it was going horribly wrong. Uh, and everything was going horribly wrong. So we're going to readjust this road. Now that road is actually, I set that to 100 kilometers an hour. So I've got to remember that. Yeah, and for some reason, I, I, I don't know why, but I, I've said, I know I've said this in multiple videos, but I'm like, oh, why are highways only 80? Even though the 100 is the, the ramps that are 80. I don't know. I make that mistake all the time. It's okay. I'm acknowledging. I'm recognizing. Uh, so we good. <laughs> Recognize. Okay, so let's... uh. Bring this down a little bit so we can get... Let's get the train line through first. And we'll see how we go. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm hoping we can get some... Because we're going to have to... Obviously, going to have to do... I don't know if we're going to get any houses in here. Because I don't know how we do it. I mean, we could have a we could have a road come off of that bridge. Or something else. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if it looks good. Basically, my rule is... If it don't look good, it's not staying. Uh... But sometimes I ignore that rule, as you may be aware. Uh, sometimes I completely ignore that rule. So now this is going to go straight across. Uh, obviously. So it's going to go to there. Yeah, pretty level, pretty level. That's good. And then I would like to keep that... See that? That's. I don't like it sloping down. It, need, it needs to sort of... because Especially because it's a train line. It needs to be really sort of smooth. And, so we can bring it to there. Because that actually sort of... Yeah, that's a good spot. Then we're going to go ending point and then start point from there. So it can just be a smooth uh, transition. Hopefully. As smooth as smooth can be. Oh, well, we, well that's not going to work, is it? Hang on. So this needs to be... Yeah, there. And then that should hopefully be able to go fairly level. There's a little bit of a slope there, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not upset about that. Okay, so then I guess we'll bring this along the highway. No, I always make that mistake. Let's not go too close to the highway. I make, I make that mistake every time. Uh, so we're gonna, we are going to go pretty close, but not, not too close. Okay, so then we're going to go... Around this way. Now... Where do I want to do the train station here? Because this is going to be, hopefully, a fairly useful train line that people will actually use to commute. Because there are a lot of people, especially, you can see, you can see, look at the number of cars on this road. Um, there's way, 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 way more cars than trucks. Uh, so, there's definitely people commuting here. And if we can get this train line in a, in a useful spot, that'd be very beneficial. Now, I'm thinking, maybe we do it... In the, maybe we try one of these. Maybe we try because this is supposed to be like a small town. So why don't we get in like one of these uh, sort of old brick railway stations? Maybe I should have done this in all of them because you can only you can do just do one station. That uh, would have made sense, but uh, a bit late for that now. 
<laughs> Bit late for that now. Okay, I wanted to go the other way though. See, so yeah, that's gonna destroy like everything. I guess I can do it on this this road here, which will still destroy a lot of stuff. But and I've got to I've got to sort of be mindful of the track getting in and out of here. Like it needs to go under stuff and over stuff and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, see that, that that's that's nice. I like that. That's much more fitting. I might actually change those stations. It's much more fitting to the theme of this city that we're trying to go for. Or right, it's not even a city anymore. It's a, oh yeah, speaking of it, I named it. I called it Gridlock. I thought it was quite funny because so someone actually mentioned in the uh, the comments down below. He, they're like, uh, call it Gridlock, like it's spelled properly. And then I was like, oh, but we could be we could be funny and call it Gridlock, like Loch Ness. Even though obviously a, this is not a lock. A city is not a lock. Uh, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. In terms of the meaning, but hey, I thought it was kind of funny, so I went with it. Uh, we actually may be able to get this to go under the road really nicely because this is actually quite a bit lower than where this road is. We're gonna have to obviously, I don't know, I won't get rid of that, I'll just move that. This is gonna take some finessing, but I think <laughs> some lock nessing. Pause for laughter, I'm gonna get rid of those. Uh, <laughs> pause for laughter, so dumb. Alright, let's go from there because I think we can. Maybe even get the train line there and have the road go above it pretty seamlessly. Hopefully. That's actually... Can we... Oh, that needs to come down. No, no, no. That... Needs to go down. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna go... Straight up. Oh, wow. How come... It doesn't render there. That's interesting. That's probably just... Could, because it's a custom model and the... the I guess the, the regular train station probably doesn't render there. So it's just probably a quirk of how it works. Uh, okay, so this is going to come out to... Where is my train line? It is... It's going to be right there. So this is a pretty good spot. If we go there... And then that road is actually lower as well. This could... This could... Almost not be any more perfect. Like, if we put that there... Is this going to go... This goes, like, almost exactly where it needs to. This could actually be the most perfect thing I've ever done in City Skylines. If I could get it right. Well, we're going to knock out the entire power of the... Where is 180 degrees? Oh, it's over here. Okay. I was just trying to find where the hell it went. Okay, so first of all... Um, can you not do that? <laughs> okay, uh, let me... So Hang on, let me look from above so I can actually get a good idea of where this is going. So 180 is there, so... We're pretty close to where it needs to go. But obviously it needs to... It needs to come down. I was hoping we could get it... To go, because it's okay, like, if that could do a whole gradual slope down to this point, no, like, I don't like how it's trying to go there, like, what are you, what are you even doing? No, you're doing, you're doing it wrong. I mean, maybe if we go, wait, where's 180? There, okay. It's there, okay. I go about to that point? How's that for, because obviously the hill still slopes up there, so we may still be able to get that to go... Fairly flat. Like, that's pretty flat. Like, it, it, I mean, obviously the whole bridge slopes down like that. But that's... Pretty... Like, it's pretty flat when it joins on to the other side of the terrain. It looks kind of weird. Uh... But... I don't have anything to say to that. Uh, no, I, I think it's good. I'm, I'm going with that. I like that. So now this, we're going to go for a massive gradual curve. There's going to be one big curve. It's going to be absolutely flawless about there. No, that's not flawless. You can see the flaw there. Where you can see the little kink in the uh, the curve. Getting rid of the kink. Let's redo that again. That's not flawless. Let's make that absolutely flawless now. So it's going to be probably about there. That's pretty good. I mean, there's still a little bit of a kink, but... Whatever. Okay, let's uh, reconnect the power before the whole town is... Without power, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so now can we get this road to like? I think this could almost be like really. Oh my god, look at that! That goes straight over it. That goes. This is like so good. I don't think you understand the brevity of this situation right now. Oh well, that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> well, that didn't work. Uh, I don't know because it needs it needs to tr sort of go towards that. Hmm, maybe if I go this way, hang on. 
No, no, go to there and then go Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at that! No, that's so good because it means we haven't had to raise up the road or lower down the track. The track is completely level. Obviously, it goes up a little bit there and then it sort of slopes down a bit, but... Uh, but that's fine because the trains can do gradual slopes, but not like super steep. But that works really, really well. That... No, that, that, that seriously turned out way better than I thought it was going to. That's awesome. To the max. Now, they do want a bit more... Uh, uh, industrial, but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so now that we have train stations, which we're actually going to change these ones because I want to go to the old, the old style train station because it looks way, 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 way better. So let's do that. Uh, M1. Oh wow, these are way bigger as well. That goes to there. No, it doesn't because that didn't actually connect. Uh, didn't Xbox connect? Pause for laughter. Good. All right. So, now the reason these are cool, and I'll show you. If you, if you haven't used these before, or if you haven't seen them, I'll show you right now. Uh, so, basically the idea is they're completely modular, uh, and it, you don't require any additional mods. Like, you just download uh, this train set, and then you go from there, uh, straight along. Not there. Can I go from there? No, can't go from there. Actually, no, it's from in there, that's right. The snap point's inside of it. It's inside the computer. So we can go like this, and I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna keep this. So then we go, so M2, but so M there's M1, M2, and M3. This is like turning into a tutorial, but anyways, M2 is a middle piece. So then you can do as many of these middle pieces as you want to make a giant station, and then M3 is the end piece. So I only want two tracks at the moment. So I'm just gonna go for a second track there, uh, and then we can get rid of this this path because they can actually enter uh, they enter through the doorway and then they can walk through to this so then we get a second train line uh, in there they're just next to each other they're not no no uh, special mods required or any of that kind of stuff um, I'm thinking we might do a train line to the industrial area is what I was thinking uh, because I, I, I'm not particularly a fan of the subway or at least going to the industrial area I feel like a train would be a bit better but we'll, we'll come back to that oh that was a funny squeak can I do it again no, that was, my, that was my shoe on my desk. Uh, okay, so then we want M1 in here. Yeah, this is... M1 is quite a bit bigger than uh, the regular train station, which would also explain why it doesn't render. And so, okay, well, this is a problem. Okay, excuse me. Uh, M1. There we go. So we can, we can put it here. That's probably... Almost the best angle, I guess. Oh, actually, no, that's probably fine. That gets straight on. Beautiful! I don't know why I always leave this category. I don't need to leave it. There we go. That will actually just go... I'll just go straight onto that. Now... Oh. Did not realize that this did not have a... Yeah, I did not realize that was a dead-end train track. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. No. Actually, but does M2... Oh, no, that snaps on a row. No, I think that's a dead end. Okay, no, no, no. We have we have to use the default track. Unless I do download, like, um... There's, pro there's probably a more stylized train track I could download. Alright, I don't know. That didn't cross my mind, actually, when doing that. That that's a sort of dead end hub train station. Yeah. Well, how come they, the... Like, the European... Like, this should be... I feel like they should theme that a bit more to match the buildings, but... Okay, well, that's not good. Let's... <laughs> that's not good. Let's, uh, fix that. Let's go... Up and to there, and then this is just gonna go. We're gonna adjust that a little bit. Uh, that needs to go about there. Yeah, that's okay. All right, yeah. So that's um, we'll probably need to change that at some point because that train line will probably extend. But uh, for now, it should be fine. So let's go train line from that station to that station, all the way down to there, and then back. Of course. So that'll go to there. Alright, so now we've got train lines connecting all that up. Now, yeah, I want to see if we can get, um, populate that area again. I guess a way to do- oh yeah, I need to put this road back. Let me not forget that as well. I'm sure people were very worried about that just then. Which I understand, because I, I totally forgot. And I, I don't blame you. For worrying. Uh... Okay, can this go to there? It can. A little bit of a curve, but that's pretty much how it was before anyway. Okay, let's make sure that this is... All 100 kilometers an hour. Actually, what I'll do... Let me select this bit first. Because that should already be 100. Yep. And then we'll select that bit. Let's just switch it back and forth to make sure. Good. Okay, so then that, that road comes back in. 
Now, I guess we could we could connect the area off of there, or we could have a road from the roundabout that goes up, or we could have a road that just goes underneath the railway line. Maybe we'll do that. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Like right here. Uh, let's go to there. We go. Have a road go down there. Okay, now those houses go away. Thank you. And then we're going to go train track. It's going to go back to... Well, no, not quite. <laughs> not, not quite like that. So it's going to go to... Hang on. To there. That's actually not even the right curve. Not even the right curve. Uh, to there? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And bridge and across and to there. Okay, so now we should be able to get a road that goes underneath that. Uh, to there. And back up over this side. There you go. Hey guys, I'm back with a new road. But... I mean, most of your houses are already destroyed, so... And you'll have- most of you will have to rebuild, so there's that. And you also live next to a train line now. So that there's also that. Uh, but yeah, we're back! Hey guys! Uh... I mean, I guess I'll put a road there. Who wouldn't want to live there? A little bit cramped. But hey! You know. You know. Keep the population happy. Do I want to make this high density? Probably not, because otherwise we're going to create a lot of- a lot more traffic at that intersection than it already has. It already has quite a bit. So, what does zone this side of it? No, oh, not not down there though. Not down there. That's really dumb. <laughs> that, that's really dumb. I will zone that bit though. Uh, not that bit though. And why is that got a little bit of residential there? That should not exist. There we go. Uh, you can go away. Now, are we going to lose power because that's connected to the houses? Probably. Okay. So that's uh, that'll all be connected up there. Now, power. Yep, that's our that's our only connection, and that also subsequently powers that town. Uh, let's build in some redundancy, I think, <laughs> just in case the system happens to go horribly wrong. Um, I can go to there. Really? Okay. Uh, now I would like to. I don't want to destroy that guy's house. There we go. <laughs> he just has now has giant wires going over his house. Not destroyed. Okay, so that passes through there, so that should still. Power everything. Uh, that will no longer do anything, but, well, whatever. When someone builds there, it probably will. Now, so we've done that. We've got a new train line coming out here. So I will be interested in if people start actually using this properly. We've got the train there. Let's give it a new color. Modify line. Uh, this can be... Uh, grid Lock Express for now. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it can be... No. Let's make it- let's make it black, because black- black is fast. Nah, it just looks cool. It actually does look very cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a black train in this game, but it looks very, very cool. Now this area here is a little bit dodgy. If we could- if we could smooth that out a little bit. No, that's actually making it worse. <laughs> that's, uh, actually making it worse. Look at- look at my money just drain away. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. 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 I'm right-clicking to set the point, but it's not- what? No, right click to stay, you go. I just want to bring it out a little bit and then smooth it. There you go. There you go. Hopefully blend it in a little bit better. Alright. So, hopefully we should see quite a few people using the trains. Yeah, there they go! There they go! Yeah! 95! And then I think if we get a bus, um, bus line in this town, I might actually just get in a, uh, uh, a thing over here. A bus depot. Oh yeah, when I said I didn't change anything, I mean, obviously I changed this. I, I added more lanes here, because there's a lot of people trying to come in. But that should actually reduce the, uh, yeah, there you go, look at that! 268, beautiful! And it's, uh, it's good, because now we have a train line, uh, some train line infrastructure in the town. Oh, that's got no water? My bad. Sorry, guys. Now, yeah, now I want- the next thing I want to do is get a train line going out there. Oh, uh, we probably also want a cargo train line. Uh... Internal and external cargo train lines. It's gonna be interesting. How we do that. 
I wonder if we can get... I wonder if they have a modular set, like if there's a, if they have a cargo train version of that, because that'd be good. I don't know, I didn't look. Unless this just accepts it, maybe it does. Uh, I don't think it does though. I mean, it doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't even say technically which type of station it is. Alright, but I think if we can get um, a cargo train station here as well, that'd be good. So what, what we might try and do... What am I doing? I'm clicking on like all the roads. I want to go to get the little dirt road. Where's this? There's a snap point there in the middle. Uh, it doesn't seem to... Oh, there we go. So basically what I want to do is come out this way. And go... Up. No, actually, how wide is the station? I don't know. Is that like... Is that big enough to fit in a cargo train station? Oh, it is. No, that's a passenger train station. Never mind. Uh, that is not big enough. Let's go like one further back. Which is kind of difficult, because... Uh, the way this is set up. See, I, this, could go, this could definitely go one closer, you know? So we need to get it one tile closer. How do I do that? If I go two back this way, and then build on that one. No, that's two. That one. Oh, no! That's not what I was supposed to do. Build there, because then I get rid of these two. And do this. This may or may not look good in the end. Alright, so then that goes straight in there. Get rid of that road, that's really not needed. Oh! Get rid of that road. So that's actually... So, I'm, I'm trying to make it kind of look part of the, uh... Part of this train line. Now, I want this to go underneath the highway. And head out over to there. Uh, obviously, this needs to be a road that actually connects somewhere, though. Because otherwise, it's useless. Uh, and there's probably no point connecting that to the highway. Because <laughs> otherwise, they would have to drive on the highway into the town anyways. They'd have Like, to get to there, they'd have to drive on the highway all the way down to the roundabout. And go around that way. Which doesn't make much sense. So, we kind of just need a road here. So, we'll go for... And we'll make this an industrial only road, so like, citizens won't be able to drive on this. Because they won't need to, essentially. Uh, so this will go... So there, why is that? Oh, I guess because it technically joins to that, for some reason. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, can I go around that? I mean, I don't really want sharp corners like that. Might as well just do it like this. Now, what I'll do is we're going to go adjust the lanes. So these guys can only go left. This lane will turn in. This one will go straight on. That one will not turn, and that one will go ahead. So basically, the only way you can get in and out of this road is by driving along that lane there. Although, that will probably create some U-turning. Uh, maybe I won't do that. Hmm. Oh, look at all the people using the train station. It's great. Uh, no, maybe I won't do that. That might be a really, 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 really bad idea. Okay, let's not do that. Well, I guess we can do that later on, depending on how it goes. Because it depends how much traffic we get coming through here. Uh, and we, what, we got, what we also got to do, let's go policies. Oh, wow. I have not done uh, districts at all. Uh, <laughs> let me go king. I'm going to remove heavy traffic ban because... The only reason I did that is because we had people coming off our old entrance and they would loop in the town. Uh, that's not really a problem anymore, so we'll see what that does for us. Okay, can you not drive down there? What are you doing? Okay, so, you know... Excuse me. Uh, we don't want buses. We don't want passenger car. We do want that. Garbage trucks, yes. Hearses, and I guess emergency makes sense as well. Just in case someone dies there, you know, got to have access. Okay. Uh, and I'll probably revise this road when I... Have the next plot of land. Actually, can I? No, I can't buy it yet. <laughs> but yeah, when, when I can have a little bit more space here. Okay, so this is going to go... Let's pause. Uh, let's pause. And go straight underneath this highway. So it's going to go straight out that way somewhere. Now, do I want this or do I not want this connected to or not connected to... Yeah, hang on. To the, uh, the external train line. I don't know. There you go. Oh, look at that. It's so smooth, kind of. And then I'll go, I don't know, up to there. 
Try, I'm trying to make this nice and smooth. Alright, so hopefully, what, what I'm aiming to do with this is set up our cargo train line infrastructure in the city. Uh, we'll probably continue that rail on somewhere else later on, or or have like a, a bypass rail or something. I don't know, but this is just this is just the beginning of it. Now, as for having this, well, these these rails need to cross. So one of these is going to have to go under, which is probably going to be this one. So maybe I should keep it lower down. And let me get rid of that bit. Maybe we actually keep it a little bit lower. So this is going to get really expensive very quickly. But what I'm planning on doing is going to go... Like this. Now, it may look dumb. But the reason I'm doing that is because I want to... And I also did spend a lot of money. So I just want to smooth it out. Like, I want to make it look like we haven't lowered it down. Like, I want to make it look like just... Just that's how the terrain looks. You know, that's just... That's just kind of what the ground is. So then it makes sense that our railway is sort of going down the bottom. We kind of... I guess we need to put some more trees on this as well. Make it look a little bit more leafy. It's actually really convenient because that is almost the same height on that side. So we hopefully, if we can um, still bridge this, hang on, no, undo that. That's that's still the same height. So that's actually pretty good. We should be able to bridge this line. And then what we'll do, so obviously this will bridge all the way across to there. I don't even know if this is straight. No, it's actually a little bit curved. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo that so it actually curves a little bit. To that, okay. And hopefully this will go straight there. Good. Then what we'll do? Yeah, we'll so we'll bring this cargo train line down. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is a good start to this city. Uh, so it's gonna come around down here somewhere. Up. I don't know, let's, let's end it there for now. Because then we, we need to create another train uh, train station hub over here that connects the regional, uh, which is that train line, and then the internal train line. So you can swap your cargo between them. Uh, yeah, this would be good. Okay, so now what we need to do as well is uh, get these highways back in. Before I forget, I should probably upgrade all these highways to have sound barriers at some point. <laughs> probably a good idea. Probably. We'll see. Okay, all the way across. That's not straight. That is not a straight highway. So it needs to actually go to there. That that other bridge also looks really bad. I'll I'll change that in a second. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna change the joining uh, roads just so they curve. It's easier to curve the non-bridge sections than the bridge sections themselves. Uh, it will snap that. Snap tackens it. Uh, that actually needs to come back a little bit further. Yeah, there you go. That's not too bad. Okay, upgrade these bits to have sound barriers, just so it doesn't look too dumb. And hopefully we, it will let me upgrade all of these. Yep, nice. And then that already has it all. That already has it. And then these bits do too. Cool, that'll be fine for now. Okay, so then we have the train line coming through here. Obviously these bits look a little bit rough, but we're here to smooth it out. There you go, that's a bit better. So I'll come through there. Hopefully smooth out the sides as well. So trying to make it, basically trying to make it look as organic as possible. So it's not like we've done this. Uh, you can you can definitely see the, <laughs> the hill I made there, but hey, it's a good starting point anyway. Okay, so let's get in our cargo train terminal. We're going to have two of these right next to each other, which could be the best idea ever or the worst. I mean, there's only one way to find out. So we're going to get rid of this road. That's no longer necessary. We're going to replace it with two one-way roads, I think. So we're going to go one way to there. I'm going to move that. I just got to figure out how this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to need cargo, obviously. Uh, what it needs to do... Yeah, I have an idea of how I want this to work, but in that position, it's not going to work. So I need to change that road. So this needs to go up that way, maybe. Okay, let's go there. It's still not quite... Because basically what I want to do is then have the other one next to it, but 
facing that way. But I guess maybe we just do it across the road. But that doesn't fit. No, not enough money. It does fit, but I'm out of money. Huh. It's been a while since I've seen that message. Uh, no, I actually don't demolish that. Keep that. Uh, wait, do I? How much money do I get back? Forty-five thousand. How much did I spend on it? Sixty thousand. Okay, so I lose a lot of money doing that. <laughs> All right, but I need to. I need to get rid of that road because that that road doesn't need to go there anymore. So I need. To, it needs to actually be going up. Uh, so let's go. This will go. Hang on, I need to have a road. Okay, that needs to move for sure. That's in the way. This road needs to come in. This road needs to come out. Just trying to split off. Uh, that's actually completely the wrong way around. <laughs> that's completely the wrong way around. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just want the roads coming up this way. Okay, here we go. Then we're going to go across the top. Okay, so this. Can go there. And then, have this one come around. About there, do you reckon that's big enough? I mean, I don't know, because I can't afford it. Uh, no, that's the wrong one anyways. That will, that will most certainly fit, I just don't have enough money. Okay, is there anything I've forgotten to connect back up? Uh, that road's in there, that road exists, uh, and other things. I don't think I've severely destroyed anything. So, I think we're okay. Oh, look at all the people riding on this train. This is good. 243 people on that one. What about this one over here? 16. Uh, not as many people on that one. <laughs> not as many people. There is a subway station there, though. Can we, uh, let's see if we go... Add and remove crosswalk. Get one on both sides of that road. Is it... Oh, it's not like, it's not like glitchy anymore. That's good. That means I can, uh, easily walk over to the subway station. Or we, or we might do an overpass or something. I don't know, but, um... That just means I can sort of cross the road a little bit easier. Okay, off go the trains. What about this one over here? How's this train station going? Yeah, we got we, we got a few people waiting, I guess. <laughs> there, there's a few people. Uh, 200, 240 out of 240 people on the train. That's good, and we've got another train coming in now with 53. Now 67. And there's another train. They're all back to back for some reason, because that's how the game works. Now that's, re that's really good. This means that is getting a lot of use. 636 people. That means we should be seeing a lot less traffic on this road. And I think we are. Nice. Okay, so... Still waiting for a little bit of money so we can afford a cargo train station. <laughs> still gotta wait for that to happen. Uh, let's go... Before this guy complains anymore. There you go, buddy. Now, what I'm thinking is... Yeah, so we're gonna have those two train lines there. And the roads. Uh, I don't... Coming off of that, though... So coming off the main road makes sense, and that's why I did it, but I don't know if I like that idea anymore. Mainly because I gotta I gotta get the uh the train lines in there. Which I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Oh well let's let's find out together. Let's let's do this has been a great episode, just trains. Uh I'm sure you're enjoying it. I am. And that's not even a joke, I am actually enjoying this. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it. Okay, so then we got another cargo train station there. So this is our little terminal. So then... Wow, they... So many of them upgrade. <laughs> oh, these buildings look way better now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we should probably focus on upgrading our industry. Oh my god. Putting those two in there made everyone so happy. Oh, those buildings look so much better as well. They're way more European. Yeah, because these are like default, and then these are like actually... European style. So we might get some parks in here. Maybe that'll be a good idea. <laughs> Alright, we'll focus on that in a minute. Now, I wanna I wanna change that road. Let's make it let's make it more aesthetically pleasing, shall we? One block, one block, one block, one block. There you go. I don't know, just a nice little loop. A loop toopins. Uh, obviously we're not connecting those two train lines. They're not supposed to be connected ever. Um I mean I didn't really need to do that. It's probably better if I left it what it was, but oh well. Now, the thing is, okay, so this road coming out has to go over the train lines. And I think I might- oh my- what the hell? Hang on, what? Alright, alright, okay, okay. No, let's go... Up to there. I mean, I could do some- all this fancy terrain editing to make it work, but I think... The answer here is keep it soup- soup it? 
Oh my god. I was gonna say keep it s simple, stupid, but even I can I couldn't even say that phrase. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. If any of my future employers look at my YouTube channel, please don't. Please don't judge my uh my abilities by this channel. Oh dear. Okay, you get out of the way, and we're gonna redo that because that's not good. So I'm gonna go up that way, and then it's just gonna go straight across. Obviously, get rid of that because it's in the way. Straight across. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I've, I've got to consider the fact that there's another train line, so let's go a little bit further. Plenty of room, and then straight back down. Okay. So now, what I actually want to—I want to remove that connection. I don't—I don't want that connecting there. I want this to actually connect through that road. Because, and also I don't want anything zoned on this road at all. Um, no, I want it purely for the, purely for the vine. Do it for the vine. There we go. No, because I, I, I don't want anything building on here to sort of clog it up. So, now that's connected there. There's no traffic lights here now. These just flow straight on. I will also not allow them to turn left there, because that's just dumb. So, go that way. Now... Okay, so this train line is actually connected, so yeah, they're, they're already using it, so there are people actually coming here to use this cargo train station. Which is definitely interesting. Definitely. Now, that is full. Now, actually, speaking of that being full, we also have a load of, uh, a load of demand for stuff, but we'll look into that soon. Uh, our incineration status is good, I want to get rid of that. Let's, uh, start emptying that out. Oh, I can't believe this. those upgraded so much, so, actually, ha let's have a look at, um, it's that leisure. So that's land value. No, leisure. No, there's no leisure there. But these guys, so what caused these guys to upgrade? But they need coverage by more services. Just, just services in general? Is that... Yeah. No, see, like, I, 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 I always knew it's services, but, like, I didn't know if industry had something different about it. I don't think it does. Just any service will do. All right, so people seem to be coming around this way. I, I want to make sure... Are all of these guys going in there? No, some people are just doing U-turns, which is actually really annoying. <laughs> They're doing a U-turn there, because I guess they probably come out of those buildings. Uh, so what I'll do instead... Uh, do that. Let's make this a bigger road. With no parking. There you go. That will prevent people going up there just to do a U-turn around this area. I will also reassign these roads. So you can go there and there. You can go there. And then obviously one lane does nothing there because it's just the way it is. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's what that's why all the garbage trucks are going up there because I put the incineration plant there. They had to go all the way around. But hopefully we should see when there's enough cargo in there, that should actually get going. I mean, it's probably not that useful right now because it's not that far away. It probably takes them longer to drive from there to the cargo train session than it would do to drive into this area. Which is not a good thing. Um, but I'm thinking what I might do is, uh, let's go... Direct road to... There, there'll, there'll definitely be more people coming in here when, uh... No, I don't want to do that, actually. This will just go up to this bit. Because then if people want to go that way, they can. Uh, when, when we connect this up in a moment to the regional train line, I suspect we'll probably get more people coming in. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, that's not, I want, is that my apex? That's my apex. Let's go to there. And then this can go to there, and then it'll go onto that. Now, I would like to... Obviously, connect it the other way as well. Uh, but what's the best way of doing that? Because there's not a lot of... Not a lot of space here. Um, so, we could go up and, like, join it. Like, on the bridge or something? I was thinking what we could do. Like, ideally, I would like... Yeah, I'd like, like, a second bridge for, for this. That'd be cool. We can do that. So if we go to there, across, and then this is actually going. This is actually going further and further away. Uh, let's redo that. So I'll, I'll probably have to re. Oh, there you go. Look, that train's going. What? How much has he got? Twenty percent cargo. That's more than nothing, and that means we have fewer cars on the road. So he comes down here. Here they come. Oh, they 
they're going to the end of the road to U-turn, really? Okay. Could I mean you could just turn straight out and done that, but anyway, that worked. I mean, it, it's totally it's totally being used, which is a good thing. Uh, so we have quite a bit of residential demand. Oh, a lot of death too. Look at that. Uh, yeah, well, that that's the focus of the next episode. This episode is train lines. Uh, they they need some love. I've never shown them the love and affection they deserve uh, before, so you know. Today is the day. Uh, now this is going to go straight across. I'm actually going to stop snapping that to there. And then... Oh, no, actually, I want that to snap dull. There we go. Okay, so that will go on to there. Now, do we need two bridges? Probably not. Do I want two bridges? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, so now this needs to actually go... I need, I need to bring that out a bit more. That needs to actually go like this. Um, and then hopefully, see this is, no, this is just too close to where that is to, oh, how much is on that? How much is on the train? How much is on the train? 47%. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I didn't, I actually didn't think I'd be utilize it that much, but that's pretty good. So let's see. Here they go. Oh yeah. Nice. Off go all the hot dogs and donuts. That's actually working. I mean, you a lot of traffic there. Especially because that guy's trying to... What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> because everybody's turning in that way now. Hmm. That seems like a traffic problem for another day. <laughs> that seems like a traffic problem for off-camera. <laughs> that seems like a... Off-camera job. Okay, let's try this. I wish you could just split these perfectly like that. Like, that would be so easy. Let me do this one first, actually. Let's do that. Okay, that works a little bit better. Okay, then that comes out to there, and then... Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And then I think a little, tr a few, some trees around that and, and all that will look pretty good. So now we have our regional cargo train line connected, because that is obviously our regional line. Uh, there's a passenger train coming in. Actually, that's what we should do. That's what I should have done here. Oh, actually, no, we can still do it. Never mind. As have a, have a line come in that uh, goes into that station. That can be our regional train station there. Oh yeah, that'd be so good. Uh, now how do I do this? I guess. Well, okay. Let's just do it this way first. Now, do I have enough room to sneak in another line down there? No. I'm gonna have to redo this bit again. Uh, I'm gonna have to demolish all of this. Wish I thought of that earlier. I don't know why I didn't. But I didn't, so... Oh, that's too big. So you just gotta deal with it, you know? Just gotta deal. Just do it! Just deal with it! Okay, so start there, and then obviously come down to there. Hopefully we can uh, get that to work. Um, now... Oh, we'll figure that bit out later. I won't, I won't do that now. Okay, let's go. Straight down there. Nice, nice. I guess we'll somewhat follow that train line, not too much. Now I guess this is going to go a porto. No it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, that can go into there. Now can we get... This actually would work, this actually is working out better than I originally even planned because instead of having these two connections join onto the same section of track so that like trains won't get clogged there, they're actually two separate tracks with that. That actually may work pretty well. That actually looks interesting. Uh, so now that connects up to the regional line so we can have people coming from out of the city uh, into this without interfering with our other train station. But it's kind of looking like a nice train hub. So that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, this is coming along well. Um, okay, first of all, can you not be dumb? There we go. And second of all, can you also not be dumb? Well... That bridge looks dumb. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, let's turn off snapping. That's probably going to help us out here. Yeah, that no, that bridge still looks really dumb. Why did I do it like that? It just needs to. It just needs to. I just need to curve this whole section. Let me just. 
<laughs> l l let me just do that again. Let let's just curve it. Let's not try and get fancy. I'm so fancy. I'm not. God, why did I why did I do that? It's gonna be like sampled on the internet in minutes. Good. Uh, so that's gonna go. Uh, See, so it's a little too far away. I need to bring it further back. Okay. 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 There you go. There you. That's much better. There. No, that's good. Okay. Nice. So we have the uh, the cargo train line going back and forth. Um. And we have the regional cargo train station as well, which can now basically the reason I also did the regional line there is so that when the that's that train's actually leaving the city as well. Cool. Uh, is that when the trains come in? Uh, they can stop there and then the trucks can actually deliver it around to the internal line because it's a one-way system as you know It'll go around they'll deliver it there, and then they could uh, take it anywhere else in the city uh, Now I guess the real question is is this system gonna hold up or is that gonna clog up absolutely awfully? I mean we'll find out after the break and by the break. I mean next episode uh, so yeah, now uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave your comments and suggestions down below We are getting a lot of death and uh, actually some abandonment. We don't have enough uh uh, I really hate death waves because it's not the fact that, um, it's not, it's not even the fact that we don't have enough. It's the fact that the game just kills too many people at the same time. Uh, so you need to like buy like millions of these things. I guess I'll get a crematorium over here somewhere next to that. So you can service that area. Anyone dying over here? Nah, that's fine. <sighs> Alright, the next episode we will uh, be back focusing. That's a lot of people. Where are you guys all going? Are you like... Going somewhere specific? You're just going there. See, I would- This is why I would rather you use the- the cargo train line, but I guess at the end of the day, it is probably technically quicker to just drive uh, than it would be to go to the cargo train station. Although, this seems to be working quite nicely, so there's that. Uh, and we'll see how that holds up. And I will, uh, look into any severe traffic problems. Oh, that roundabout's still going well. Uh, we'll look into any severe traffic problems, such as around this area where everyone's coming in, trying to turn right, and then they... Well, no, yeah, they, they turn left, and then they're turning... A lot of people are turning right there for some reason, and then they're going in that way. I guess because that's probably a major commercial district, isn't it? Oh, no, it's actually not. It's mostly residential. It's interesting. I don't know. All right, all right well, I'll look into that. That should also be commercial. Uh, and that should also be... Why is so much of this de-zoned? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, don't build there, please. I don't know. Some of the stuff is just designed over time. Uh, yeah. No, I'll I'll have a have a have a quick uh, quick look in, uh, in between episodes. Oh, here comes it. How much you got? Twenty percent cargo. Actually, I'm interested to see where this goes. So if they come out, I w I would like to see if any of these guys actually. No, they're all delivering like logs. If you, I w it'd be really interesting to see if some of them actually. Go around and deliver it straight into that one. That would actually be pretty cool. But I don't know. I don't think I don't think the uh, the thing is that we we need, I, basically I need to expand this cargo train line. We need to do uh, another cargo line that actually goes out to here and out to this district as well, which I think we'll work on another time. How's this going, by the way? Sixty six. But I, I guess because it's let's have a look. Oh yeah, there they all are. <laughs> there they all are. I keep trying to end the episode, but it just keeps going. The train is almost full, not quite, but that's actually really, really good. Now that that train line is awesome. So let's have a look at traffic. Um, no surprises here that we still have a lot of traffic. There. We, I mean, we always had traffic there and also there, but it's not so bad. That is backing up a little bit. Not really. Like once it all starts getting, I don't. Where is all that traffic coming from, though? Actually, is it because we, I've never had that much traffic coming in here. We haven't expanded the area. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, now I'm really going to end the episode. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day. <laughs>